in the arrangement. Hey man, nothing can stop the yeah. move of God. Hey man, hey. if you remember when the church burned, hey man, we didn't miss one service. Hey man, honey, the first service started out on the parking lot. Hey man, and God opened the doors. Over one down to the floor of the parking lot. Yeah. Hey, we had Monday night and Sunday night service. Amen. And here, under the government, they shut the church house door. How can we have a missed one service? 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 Oh, 
say you shouldn't do this. Somebody said you'll get in trouble. Baby, right now, the last thing I'm worried about is the Lord. I want to get my blessing up when the Holy Ghost is here. Regardless, the Bible said, quench not the spirit. If you want to go home fighting the same devil you fought, go ahead and pull on but if you come for victory, then you come for victory, then you come for a blessing, the blesser is here, right here, and right now, give him a shout of Come on, you can do better than that. If I was playing a battle, I wouldn't say my vehicle. Don't forget all them rules. Forget a government order. Y'all 
didn't hear me. I don't have a reason to fear. Y'all ain't hear me yet. I don't have a reason to fear. Oh, I, I gotta make sure y'all hear this. I was praying earlier. This is what come to me. Ready for this? May not help nobody but me. Now I'm gonna say anyhow because it's good. I said, devil, hey. God loves me too much to be afraid. Hey, I don't oh, miss God. it. I said, he loves me too much. Oh. My father loves me too much hey. to be afraid, oh. to back down, to be intimidated. I am bought by his blood. Hey. And guess what, devil? Nothing comes into my life. Hey. We ain't backing down, we ain't backing up, and we sure enough ain't giving up. God's so gonna have people, they're not worried about what the news media is saying, they're not worried about what politics will say about them, they're not worried about, about us, poor church, saying something about us. We know who we are and who we are, and that is the king of kings. The devil thought he had some of y'all. But he's getting a message this afternoon. He ain't got none of it. You know, sometimes I get this bad boy spirit on me. And I say, devil, is that all you got? Hey, devil, is that your devil? If you made it this far, you're going to make it all the way. I said if you made it this far, you're going to make it all the way. Y'all missed it. If I made it this far, I'm going to know why. That's right. Come on. Because one thing I realized, he didn't bring me this far to leave me. He didn't bring me this far. For me to quit now, he didn't bring me this far for me to throw in the towel. Hey, he brought me this far to take me to where he's calling me. Come on. For God hath not given you. I can't get off this. Come on. I was praying early this morning and I started preaching the devils. I know, I'm the only crazy guy that I'm in. Yeah, come on now. I started calling out that spirit of fear that's coming on us through news media. I ain't off the hobby horse yet, just in case he's one. I started calling out that spirit of fear that the government's putting in even on us. Hello, somebody. I know I'm on the world wide web. And I'm going to preach it like I preached it inside the four walls of the world. 
It ain't about a virus anymore. I said it ain't about a virus anymore. It's a bunch of politics now trying to choke freedom out. I want to tell somebody something. It's easy to choke out a freedom that you gave. But when you got a freedom that they didn't give in the first place, I got news for you. The world didn't give up. And the world didn't give up. And the world didn't give up. Look at that, chapter 22 and verse 20. The Apostle Paul is standing on trial. And he's in Jerusalem. And he's going up a stairwell. And he asked the chief there to let him stop and address the crowd. What we don't realize is 26 years earlier, Jesus Christ was standing before Pilate in the same stairwell. Come on! And Saul started talking about how he had a guy by the name of Stephen stoned to death. So I went back to read about what happened after Stephen was stoned to death. Your Bible reads in Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, that because Saul, who was to be Apostle Paul, because Saul wreaked havoc in the church, the church scattered. But see, what Saul didn't realize was he was helping the church fulfill prophecy. Because in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, the Bible said, and ye shall be witnesses in Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost. Hallelujah! Oh, oh, Pharisee Saul was upset because the apostles was in Jerusalem. But all he did was get a flaming evangelist by the name of Philip into Samaria. And the Bible said all of Samaria heard the gospel preach. Hallelujah, Jesus! Woo! And I got the question like that. It's all because of Saul killing Stephen. That caused Philip to go to Samaria to fulfill what Jesus said to do in Acts 1 and 8. Can I tell you, God is still pretty good at beating the devil at his own game. I said God is good at beating the devil at his own game. And guess what? If he done it for Philip, he'll do it for Bible You hear me? He'll do it. But you got to read it closely. Because Philip just didn't preach when the church was scattered. Oh, if I had an hour to preach, I'd preach on the subject. Come on. Scattered, but not silent. Woo! Talk about it. They were scattered, but they just wouldn't shut up. Not only did God allow Philip to preach the gospel. You ready for this? I'm getting ready to prophesy to you. Miracles came after the word was preached. You know what I feel like? Bible Way Church is getting ready to step into a season of miracles like we have never, ever seen before. He helped us walk through the door. He helped us walk through the door. We might be scattered, but we're not silent. We might be scattered, but we ain't gonna shut up. We might be silent, but we ain't gonna sit down. But rather, we're gonna stand up and say, "For God I live, and for God I die." I wonder how mad 
died and made old Saul. When he heard that the same thing that was happening in Jerusalem is now happening in Samaria. He couldn't even get no way in the next chapter before God turns to light. And he lets the baddest dude because if you'll study closely, Saul was going against his own oh, yes, pastor's right. teaching. Yes, amen, he amen. Yes, he you can read about Gamaliel. I believe it's Acts chapter 5, verses 37 and on. I'm just going off the top of my head right now. Gamaliel was where Saul got his school, got his teaching, got his theology. Got his legalism, everything right there under the at the feet of Gamaliel. Oh, hallelujah, come on. The apostles was having such revival because they was doing more than preaching it. They was demonstrating it. Hey, that's right. Not only did they preach healing, everybody saw healing. Woo! And when you got a man at the gate called Beautiful getting up, and Gamaliel's church couldn't do it, Woo! Yeah. they get pretty ticked off. But Gamaliel had enough common Ooh, sense in himself to know. Pharisees need to back off these men. Hey. Stop having anything to do with them. Stop hey. trying to persecute them. Stop everything. Amen. Now I call Gamaliel said. He said, if this thing be of God, you ain't going to stop it anyway. Woo! Come on now. I ain't got no more room. Y'all missed it. If this pain be of God, you ain't gonna stop it anyway. I said respectfully, hope Mr. Trump, I'll say it respectfully, but if it's of God, you ain't gonna stop it. Oh, Mr. Lord Trump, respectfully, if it's of God, you ain't gonna stop it. Throw him in jail. God still has angels. Hey, hey, God hey, still hey, come on, Go ahead. Take the life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Hey. Come on. Hallelujah. If this thing's of God, you can't stop it. Can y'all look in your rear view mirror just for a few seconds and see the 40 years that's behind Bible Way? Yeah, yeah, y'all hearing me. I'm talking people ain't on this property right now. You can lie about us. You can talk about us. I'm going to make it plain. You can split from us. Go ahead, start your other church if you want to. But yeah. the bottom line is, if it's of God, you can go start your church. But you won't stop the church. Yeah. You can go ahead and lie about it. But if it's of God, you ain't going to be able to stop it.
name of the Lord of hosts. That's right. Their weapons is the affairs of this life. Uh, come on now. Their weapons is to trick you up on your words. Their weapons is to make you look like the bad guy. Oh, my, my, my. Come on. And I'm going to remind you, Jesus said, hey, if the world hated you, remember something. They hated me first. Hey, hey, that's right. Come on now. Praise God. And the servant is not greater than his master. Oh, right. If they hated me, then you better press the shore now. Yes. yes. They're going to hate you. Hallelujah. <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> Why should I be scared <laughs> when my God loves me so much? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, oh, Y'all forgot when Jesus taught you how to pray, oh. he first said, our Father. Ah, we're Hello, be thou now. Woo! I ain't a daddy except to a four legged furball at the house, according to my wife. Come on, brother. I don't think those exist, but I'd rather be happy than right, so I'll leave that alone. But a father loves his child. Oh, my, yes. His father, a father has dreams for his child. A father would give his life for his child. I thought you was one God people. We're the only people that believe that the father did give his life for him. Hallelujah! The father. Would do anything that he could for his baby. Yes. Yes. Now I'm going off thin ice because this is where people tell me I, I ain't got no experience, so I'm going to just walk carefully. I've got a hard time if I had a little, little Austin Jr. running around somewhere. And that little boy come up to me and said, Daddy, can I have a popsicle? And I had one in the freezer. You know what my first inclination is going to want to do? Give the kid a popsicle. Because I have it to give. Nah, 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 come on. And if I have it, woo! You have not, but I don't give it, then there might be something wrong with the little popsicle. Woo! But if daddy has it to give, and his children come asking for what he has to give. Oh, glory. See, y'all don't think I got no Bible. They yeah, say come on. Jesus said, how many of you whose child will come to you and ask for you for bread and you give them a stone? Woo! How many of them come asking for meat and you give them a serpent or a scorpion? He said, how much more would your father oh, yeah. in heaven give oh, to the children? Y'all missing it. If you really believe your daddy can give it, then it's your time to start asking him for it. I said it's your time. If you really believe he's a God of miracles, right now the time is to be. Bible said it is your father's good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom. It's your father's good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom. In other words, it's your father's good pleasure to give you the things that is in the kingdom. You know what's in the kingdom? Healing. There ain't nobody sick in the kingdom. If you don't believe me, just wait till Jesus comes and sets up his kingdom. Yeah. And there ain't going to be no sick. 
Hallelujah. There's no more death in his kingdom. There, 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 there's nobody broke in his kingdom. They're just blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm a part of the kingdom. Who is governed by the king of kings. Oh, hallelujah. You know what I love about all this? I believe it's Proverbs 21 and verse 1. I love this scripture during every election. I love this scripture during every time something happens we don't like. This is what the wise man Solomon said. He said, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Oh, my, my, my. And just as you go off the hill and see Clinch River, Clinch River can't flow any way it wants to. Hey, 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 come on. There's been a channel predetermined. And that water doesn't have a choice but to flow in the channel that the Creator made for. If the channel goes left, that water has to go left. If the channel goes right, then it's got to go right. You know what? That's what the Bible said about your president, about your governor, about every king on this world. They're just like a river. They're in the hands of a king. And he turns it every which way that pleases him. And there's not a way that they can turn without the permission of
Amen. Everybody stretch your hands towards the Jews that's not afraid to lay hands on you. Put them on the card of my high card pipe. Yeah, the more hot feet of my mother. Yes, God, right now, Lord.